Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming today. I have my League Game 2 against Vincent here. He is playing the 26th Strelke, and I am playing the 5th Cavalry. He did choose first. We're on a map I don't... I, I don't know. I, I don't love this map. I find it like a lot of times people just like hardcore win this one or don't or get crushed. You know, it's like no in between. I'm really hoping that's not me this time. He is playing Maverick, though. I am playing Balance. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button and subscribe for more Steel Division 2 content as we continue to expand our tutorial library and add more games to watch and learn from. All right, so I chose second. I decided... I, I honestly really had a hard time choosing. The 26th Strelke is, is pretty solid. <clears throat> pretty solid nowadays. Its biggest weakness is its lack of strong AA. So I definitely wanted a, a division that could like kind of take advantage of the air a little bit. And I'm going to do something a little cheesy here. This is called the cluster opening, where you take a cluster bomber and you try to cluster bomb a road that the opponent will definitely be like bringing in reinforcements on. <clears throat> this kind of stops their progress. You, you, you generally want to recon as well. That way you actually can keep an eyeball on them as you come in. Otherwise you won't be able to see. All right, then what are we doing here? Um... Mm, okay, so I have these guys. Now, the problem is he is faster than me. Without a shadow of a doubt, no chance whatsoever that I'm going to get to the front before him. So this is definitely going to be an issue for me. Like, usually I would push these Puskan Takars forward, but he has PTRSs, which are going to get there first anyway. So it's, like, a, a little redundant to even try. Because I'm, I'm telling you, there's absolutely no way I'm going to beat his PTRS rush. And I can almost promise you there will be a PTRS rush. Because it's a Soviet division and that's what you do. So we're going to call in... I'm still going to call them in because they still can be useful. But then I'm going to set up some lighter... Fa still fast moving AT like further back here. So that I have a chance of shooting down this road. And stopping some of it. That is, that's the goal. That's the game plan here. So just grabbing these light AT guns, which I love. Now, the truth is they won't be super duper effective this game. And I want to try to set them up so they only see their maximum range. Anyway, they're not going to be super effective because his armor is T-34s and KV-85s and uh, KV-1s, which are like just heavy tanks with lighter guns. Um, they all have a lot of armor, you know, like basically more than this can penetrate. The APCR can, but outside of that, not it's not they're not going to do much i have my tanks all in b and c so i don't really have any tanks here my only real weapon against his tanks at this point are my cluster bombers and my Rosita's, which are fantastic but if he goes like a super heavy armor rush here at the beginning uh it's on i don't have a lot of defense against that i don't have a ton to protect myself from like a full-on committed armor push Um, I'm going to go here with this. I, I think because it's a little bit more open, it'll be a little easier. It'll be a little more useful to have him there. Oh, la, 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 la. We're going to do a Pioneer. Rosiori. Actually, one more Pioneer. So these three are going to go up into this position here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just going to leave it at that. Those three guys. I mean, he's probably, it's almost 100% chance he's going to push that hill. So I'm, I am going to call in a ABU sore as well. So let's do that. Now comes the question of this side here. Uh, I need some infantry over there too. Let's just get a couple Rosiori's. Oh no, that's too many. And let's get a Grenisseri as well. Actually, let's do two Rosiori's and two Grenisseri's. This is one of my favorite divisions. I, I love, I, I just love all, I love the infantry. I love how strong it is. Um, I, I, I just like this division a lot. Its lack of armor can be a little challenging at times, but it's nothing like crushingly detrimental where you can't, there's like, you can't fix it. It just, I mean, it's got weaknesses like every division does. 
So I'm trying to, to deploy my troops here in an area that the Grenis area can see with their snipers a little bit farther and the Rosie area a little bit further up. The cool thing about the Rosie area is their machine guns. They're not great, but the fact is they're automatic rifles, which means that they can shoot at close range, which is a big deal. So now here's the tough part. Because what generally happens is at the beginning of the game, everyone crests this hill and like it's just a bajillion support weapons all shooting at each other. <sighs> I will have precious little time before he is able to deploy his armor and stuff or get his armor and stuff to these hills. We go here and here and here. Obviously with my goal being to get these guys in an okay position. I think I'm going to call my little cheese cluster run on this road here. I honestly would really like some anti-air at the beginning. I know it takes away precious troops and it makes me very nervous, but we def I definitely need something here. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's call one more Rosiorian. See if we can't grab this top hill here. And then I have this last Puska. Is there any possibility for cheekiness? That is the question. Cheekiness as in can I sneak this guy anywhere that he can like make a difference? Not really over there. Okay, let's try it. I really got to find a play way to get some points here. So he's going to go all the way over there. And I'm going to try to walk him all the way down. Probably into this. And preferably, I mean, this woods even, isn't even that helpful. I mean, I can go right about here. But he's only got 400 meter range. So probably actually all the way down to here. <laughs> this will be a long patience walk and we'll see if it succeeds alrighty ready when you are uh, and Vincent appears to be like a pure Maverick player he played me Maverick both times and he did not hesitate to call Maverick he did not I get a sense that's always what he plays and that's good to be consistent in your choice I, I switch a little bit and therefore am less good at both. <laughs> Although, honestly, I prefer... I, I kind of knew he'd pick Maverick and I just like Balance versus Maverick. I do not like Maverick versus Maverick. Which is probably dumb here, but it's okay. If you watch Division 1, a lot of, there appears to be a lot of Mav on Mav play right now. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is definitely the most commonly chosen income. I'm not, I don't think it needs a nerf per se. Like uh, the mm, no, nah, I don't really think it does. I think the most I would even consider is like uh, maybe making it 165, but I don't think that's necessary. <clears throat> Another option would be to go maybe 115 and 85 or something like that, but eh, maybe not even that. All right, here we go. Getting the getting the nervous sweats. Oh, 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 gotta get these guys in. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, dum -dum. Cheese fest begin. Let my cheesiness flow. Truthfully, the IAR is really good, too. It's like a heavy bomber. It's actually really strong. I mean, it's got 12 bombs. It's like half of a big bomber. What the? What just happened? What is that crap, Oli? Okay. We're just gonna fly in circles. Well, that that worked really well. That was super dupe <laughs> super dupe effective. Am 
my horse is dead. Yeah, there's one of them. Call on another one. Go, go, get in there. Comes a KV one. Uh, just call another one of these. Let's call him back. Let's go down here. On in some sort of AA. Let's just get down here so I can get an idea of what's going on. This is definitely dangerous for my ABU source because I mean he def he has weapons that counter. I mean he has weapons that clearly counter my uh, the PTRS counters my whatever you what call them. Let's call a Granissari and a Kalasari. You sort of dead. Okay, so something heavier there. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Oh, there's that KV-1. My JU-87 will be reloaded soon, so I'm going to put this guy kind of further back so he doesn't get, like, easy killed. Oh no! Get out of here! Get him in there. Oh, that did not go well. Delightful. Are you serious? What? It's calling a Hotchkiss here. Let's try to fix this problem. Are you serious? Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's see here. What do you have that push so? Jeez. All right, that helps for sure. Take a little bit of that power out of it. Love to kill a Stromaviki rocks here. That's awesome. What's this, what's this dude shooting at? Oh, he's shooting over here at my stuff. Okay. Can you get in range of him? That'd be sweet. I should be able to kill him. I would think. Let's call another JU-87. Because apparently wasn't good enough. I am calling in a bunch of AA. I do want to kind of, uh, I, I, I didn't call in any fighters here at the beginning, which is not like me. I'm usually like fighter bro. All right. So he now has those defenses in place there. What is this now? Boogers. Alright, let's go there. 
Cantier here. I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a pretty nice position right now. I'm feeling okay, feeling all right. He's calling in a lot of his leader, more elite infantry here at the beginning. This is definitely bad. I can see this going south in a hurry. That is unfortunate. Thing is, I know he has AA now there, so there's not a ton I can do. There we go. Get in some buildings. I bred us down. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's call some more Grenisarian here. Let's unload these before something unfortunate happens to them. Call another Pioneer to keep that pressure on that woods there. I'm gonna call a Rosiori here. Now we're gonna get aggressive with this guy, see if we can't get back there. That's unfortunate, but unshocking really. I don't know if that uh, AT gun got killed or not. All right, so we had a successful, we successfully uh, held back their push there, so that's great. Here, let's call in, let's call in a Rosita. Let's let's actually get one in here. I'm very very cautious with these things because truth is I don't get a lot. Gotta make sure these guys are safe from getting shot. <clears throat> what's, his, what's his eyeballs like here? I'd love to imagine he destroyed that tank in the meantime, but I doubt he did. I would love to see that yak go down as well, and that didn't happen either, so. Dreams. Big dreams. Crushed. Let's get him into that position. He's now at the 14 Tem him, but that's not the end of the world. We're, it's all right. Back up. Back. <clears throat> Question is what to call in now. Let's call another Rosiori here. Let's call in an IAR. The rocket should do pretty well against him. I'm also not doing well using my leaders, so I'm leaving my guys totally unvetted, and hence why they're getting absolutely wrecked. For the most part, it's calling a horse here because he has significantly more veterancy on his infantry. Get off the road! Get off the road! Get off the road!
All right, let's see here. Let's get another HS-129. Well, not another, but let's get an HS-129 in preparation for needing that to kill some of these tanks. Please shoot. Okay, or don't. If I could kill this three-star, that'd be great. Lovely. My 25 mil is doing way more work killing infantry than it is killing planes. We're gonna drive him up to here. Oh, that's dangerous. SU-85. Let's call on a Stug. So we now have some... At least a little bit. Definitely going to need some more infantry over here. Let's actually get a Beglite Grenadier. This is where they really shine in this sort of range. Let's get one down here as well. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Alright, how ballsy am I feeling? Very. Let's go. Get there. Fire. Oh, thank you. There we go. Good. Ooh. No, my beautiful recon planes. I use them very aggressively. I kind of deserve it. Oh, oh, he's going to get out. That's so exciting. Yay. You shall not stop me. I did kill that SU-152, so that's definitely good. Let's call another Hirsch over here. Let's call another Kalasari. And an ABU soar here. I would like you to fire. Alright, that's good. At least I know I have enough AA there to stop stuff. Uh oh. Immediately just falling back. Truthfully, holding them there is not going to do anything. It's not going to help. I'm not going to, like, magically hold them back. We need a Panzer Shrek here. Let's grab another one of these. Honestly, it's been so effective as, at just killing infantry, I don't see any reason to stop using it as such. Okay, going, honestly going pretty well actually. This this is not an awful game so far. He's doing it again. I did lose my leader, which is unfortunate. It's all right, kind of expected that to die anyway. Let's get him in there. Let's push him back up to here. Let's get all our infantry back into some half decent positions. Let's get some more Rosiori in here. We're gonna need him. That's good. That's a nice little kill. We'll take everyone. Where is that Panzer Shrek? He is becoming more and more necessary. 59? No! Incorrect code. Now it's over here. Come on. That is dangerous. We don't want to deal with that. That is not... That's not the deal. That's not the deal. Let's push this way with them.
Are you serious? Come on. Definitely got to get calling in some more infantry here. I'm letting it, letting my call in slow down, which is really bad. Because that means they won't be here when I need them. Unload. Let's go. See if we can't get this guy. Yeah, I remember that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, whatever those are. Uh, TNT grenades have magical tracking ability. They will always hit. Like, once they're thrown, they will never miss. Actually, extremely annoying, if I'm being honest. So, how did that happen? Fourteen ten, that's good. If I can keep him at that, that's fabulous. Oh, come on. Not you. Calling Rosita to cover this road off a little bit. I actually prefer to kill this. Cut off the radio. Yeah, oh, I just saw it too. Just making the move to try to stop that. Ah, oh, so bad. Ah, uh, things are falling apart. I was doing okay. Things are starting to fall apart here. This is definitely good. This is definitely good. Hold that fourteen ten. I just really gotta hope he pushes a little too aggressively with his, uh, with his armor here. Actually, we can do this, too. Really? You couldn't get the shot off? Like, could you really not? I ain't buying that for a second. That's unfortunate. 16-8. I don't know when this went so wrong. I might as well call in the leader version. <sighs> These guys are definitely my best chance here. I kind of need that Panda Shrek to stay alive. Well, that's definitely some win.
Uh, let's get a, a slightly bigger leader unit here. Ah, my Rosita died. That's so gross. Alright, here we go. 16-8, still not good. This is what happened last time where I was like, oh yeah, everything's fine, and then it wasn't. Alright, so we got a little bit there. This should be an easy win for my Book Light Grin, since this is kind of what they're designed for. Let's call in some Kalasari here. Get those snipers rolling. A little bit of anti-tank as well. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Get him. Get him. Get something. You gotta be kidding. Come on. Ah. Oh. Wow, cannot catch a break here. Tank. Uh, you know, just call another. And this, this is what happens all the time in this freaking map. You get pushed off the hill and that's kind of like... Now you're up the creek without a paddle. Shit out of luck depending on where you're from. Magical flying super TNT. It'd be nice if he could actually win this fight like he should be able to. There we go. Still 16-8. Oh, because now he took that. Oh my god, please, please. I can only hope now, because he got a little aggressive here, I can take advantage of this. Let's go, let's go. Unfortunate, but I don't care. Keep going. <clears throat> Go. Let's go. Time to push hard, because otherwise I'm going to lose. Man, I, I just don't like these as much as I like uh, the JU-87s. JU-87s are better. I declare. I really need him to die. Please don't kill it. Come on. Oh, don't read. Do oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. <clears throat> that was basically the worst possible thing that could have happened at that moment was that stupid thing to redirect. And now he's got, he's got armor covering off everything. Have to push with what I got on the ground here. <clears throat> Did get into the 15-9 here, so 
making some sort of forward progress, but still only got two minutes left now. <sighs> Just didn't trade well enough again. Did take out that T-34, that's always nice. And I don't see me coming back from this, unfortunately, at this point, so off we go. Oh, I totally forgot about that thing. Back to the 15-9, hoorah, that's dead. That's probably off target. And that's going to be GG, unfortunately. SOB. Outplayed again. Man, I wish I sucked less. Ah, uh, good game to Finzen. I mean, he didn't, like, absolutely wreck me. He just took a better position early. You can see I traded pretty well. My units killed stuff. It's not like, uh... It's not... Yeah, it's not... It's not like I just sat there getting wrecked. I mean, in fact, if you look here, yeah. His... Yeah, his off-map did a lot of damage. Really set me on the back foot, and from there, he just kind of positioned himself, and I couldn't... I don't like that map. <clears throat> I find myself saying that a lot. I don't like a lot of the maps. I'm really just not a fan of it. I like Orsha North. I love Orsha North because it's equal, so I don't feel like I'm losing to the terrain half the time. But every map has its own ways to play, and I did not succeed on this one. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that content. Hit that like and subscribe button for more Steel Division 2 content. Have a fantastic day.